this suite of offices has a rich history. Harry Reid was the last occupant, but you go back in time, LBJ, as majority leader, used this as his office. This closet over here that became a bathroom was an LBJ idea. It seemed like every room he got in the Capitol, he added a bathroom. The one thing that I always point out to my guests, it's my mother's naturalization certificate when she became a citizen of the United States. And alongside of it, incidentally, is a little receipt the $2.50 filing fee. I asked her, why'd you keep it? She said, the government never challenged me. I could prove that I paid that filing fee. This is an interesting portrait of Lincoln that was done by a man who lived uh, during his life. And when Lincoln passed away, the Senate commissioned uh, this portrait of Lincoln. And uh, so it is the property of the Senate and it's on loan. The one up here is a picture uh, that was generated during the WPA era. Uh, of Belmont Harbor, which happens to be right outside of where my condo is located in Chicago. Uh, this is Paul Douglas, who was a senator from Illinois uh, from 1948 to 1966. In 66, I interned in his office. 30 years after interning, I was sworn into his Senate seat. I never dreamed that would happen. This, of course, photo of Paul Simon, my immediate predecessor. He was my mentor. Every time I'd lose an election, Simon would pick me up, dust me off, and say, let's go at it again. Finally, I won. I was elected to the House in 82. He endorsed me uh, for the U.S. Senate, and I think that's the reason I'm here today. Then there was another fellow who came along who was my colleague in the United States Senate. And this uh, photo book here tells his story. I was the first senator to endorse him for president. For 14 months, I was the only senator who endorsed him for president. The symbolism of the first African-American president swearing the oath, putting his hand on the Bible of Abraham Lincoln is something that I think is truly a piece of American history. And I was glad to pay, play a very, very tiny part in helping him reach that goal. I get a lot of awards, I'm particularly proud of this one. A number of members have received it. It's Franklin Delano Roosevelt uh, Public Service Award. One of my heroes, and I am happy to display it here. I think it's one of the more impressive awards that I've ever received. I've done a lot of research uh, work on medical research in other areas. Uh, I think we need to invest more as a nation and uh, an organization decided to use a picture that's a few years old and uh, put me on the front of a Wheaties box. Guess that's the closest I'll get to being a great athlete. <laughs>